Ladies and gentlemen, the worst of the week. Glad to be back. I'll give you guys three nominees. You tell me who should be worst of the week. Okay, for, in the for, NBA community. <laughs> yes, yes, let's be clear. We're staying right. uh, localized to the NBA community because we obviously know who the worst of the week is in the United States of yeah. America. Yeah, every week for the last four years. Right. Um, let's go to uh, Sacramento for our first nominee. Marvin Bagley's dad. Marvin Bagley is a player on the Sacramento Kings, but his dad could be worst of the week. Marvin Bagley the third, who is the basketball player, is having an okay season for the Kings. But Junior, his pops, Marvin Bagley Jr.'s pops, isn't happy with his playing time. He is tweeting things like, trade my son, Sacramento. And then head coach Luke Walton has to be asked about it. He is being asked about Marvin Bagley's dad's tweets, uh, which isn't a good thing in the Sacramento <laughs> locker room. Uh, so keep that one in mind. Second okay. nominee, James Harden, because he quit on the Rockets in Wednesday's game mm. versus Indiana. Mm. And this is how I know he quit, because Hall of Famer Calvin Murphy, part of the Rockets TV crew, he told the people at home that Harden did so, although he didn't mean to. <laughs> Listen at the end of this 15-second clip when Murphy thinks the broadcast has already gone to commercial. Take a listen. James didn't quite uh, uh, have his his game together, but nevertheless, he did the right things getting everybody else involved. Highlights and post-game sound coming up on the post-game show presented by Jack Daniels. He quit. <laughs> 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 oh, been there, Calvin Murphy. Been there. I think you're in commercial. Hot mics, man. Hot mics, always. Uh, but, you know, Calvin Murphy's a Hall of Famer. What does he care? You know, he's, he's not wrong. He should have just yeah. said it on the broadcast. Yeah. That yeah, was, uh, he, he, yeah, he just wasn't himself in that game where he had 16 points and the, and the Pacers were able to pull that out. Yeah, it wasn't close to himself. Uh, another game that, Shouldn't have gone the way it did. The Washington Wizards got 60 from Bradley Beal, so that's why they're a nominee here. And they lost against the Philadelphia 76ers on Wednesday. You get 60 from your main man, and you lose 141 to 136. We talked about some of the worst defenses already. Denver's 28th. Minnesota's 30th. Well, the Washington Wizards, in a, in a season where they're trying to impress Bradley Beal, they're 29th. They're right at the bottom. 141 points they gave up. And it's just like last year, where they could score a billion points and still lose. And that's why they're 2-6, and six, unfortunately. Again, trying to impress Bradley Beal and anybody who wants to stick around there in Washington. Things not going well for the Wizards. So is it the Wizards? Is it James Harden? Or is it the bag man's dad, Marvin Bagley <laughs> Jr.? Uh, which is crazy to say about a senior, <laughs> but he's a so junior. It, it's hard to give it to Calvin Murphy for that jacket he was wearing on the broadcast. I mean, he can say whatever you want when you're wearing that stuff and looking <laughs> that good. <laughs> yeah, that was the, that, you, that'd be a nice jacket for you at All-Star oh, Weekend, Lee. Yeah. That That's... over a turtleneck? That you're oh, wearing, you know? yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Harden, and I'm actually sort of spinning it into us, the media. I, th I think we've let this one slide. And there's maybe just too much going on in the NBA. But, uh, you know, his last two games, I mean, it, he's checked out. He really has the last two, both in losses, you know, shooting ho horribly, you know, not all that aggressive. No, it's not the Harden we know. And I think it's... I think it's sending the message like, okay, it's time. We're into the new year. Just mm -hmm. train me already. So I'm, I'll go Harden, but really no dunks included. So let, letting this story sort of slide by a little bit, I think. I don't think it's been made into a big a deal as it probably should be. That's my opinion. Trey, who you got? Yeah, I think I'll, I'm with you on that one. It's got to be Harden for me because I'm just eliminating the other two. Uh, the Wizards, I'm actually surprised. 29th seems incredible to me for them for <laughs> defense. When I watch them, I'm telling you, it looks like there's a whistle, but the, the play still happens. It's, it's just a guy going down the lane wide open for a right. layup. It seems like, oh, they stopped playing. Something must have happened. Nope, that's just Wizards defense. So 29th, incredibly impressive if you ask me. As for uh, dad bags, I would give him best of the week because immediately after this trade request, Marvin Bagley III had his best game of the season, mm. 21 and 12 in a win against the Bulls, shot 57%. All he needed was his dad to say, hey man, go get some minutes on the court. <laughs> but if they're not gonna play you, you make them play you. And it worked and they came through with a win. He still didn't really play in the fourth quarter, but if you put up 21 and 12, maybe you'll get a taste. And wasn't uh, Papa Bags uh, very 
pissed off that he didn't play in the fourth quarter as well? I think he did tweet yeah. about oh, the yeah, fourth yeah, quarter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, you know, you keep hanging on, putting those 20 and 10s up. You'll get some fourth quarter minutes eventually. Just play hard. Just play hard, Come sunbags. On, That's the, ba- <laughs> the main thing. Like, Rashawn Holmes, when he's on the court, he plays hard 100% of the time. He's a Montrez Harrell type, mm. a Kenneth yeah. Reed type, where he's got to be playing very hard to be effective, but he does it. If Bags did that as well, he would be a 20 and 10 guy every single night. Right, right. Well said. Mm-hmm.